Ladies and gentlemen, fuck boys, and all you delicious e-girls. Stop playing phones, games, Vicky. <laughs> Not playing. Stop playing phone games. All right. Welcome to America's favorite sound. Hey, that that was really hard for me to open. I did not pause for dramatic effect. <laughs> and My, it didn't even. It didn't. Small. It didn't pachu hard enough. I know what the. <laughs> I know. Uh, maybe it's just tired from the drive to San Antonio. Hi, everybody. It's been almost two years, and my dog is whimpering when I said that. <laughs> He's like, God, it's been so long, Father. Hi, welcome back to the Nictorious Podcast with me, your host, Nictorious, and uh, my wife, Victorious. Hi, say hi, wife. I'm I'm a wife. You're a wife now. I paid for you. I gave your family three donkeys (laughs) and a sack of gold for you. But I paid. But you paid? No. No, I paid for you. Look, I took a loan out from you, but that's not important right now. The point is... I paid for our... Our marriage decree. Look, so the, the point you, is, I owe you. Roe versus I Wade. Own you. Roe versus Wade got overturned, so technically I own you now. <laughs> That's how it works. I mean, maybe, but no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I'll decide. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. So yeah, that's the first thing on the dock today. Um, I own Vicky. So um, no, never. <laughs> okay, so what were just what were we just watching right now? What's the show called? Uh, Life with Lisa Lang. This is now a Life with Lisa Lang podcast. Uh, we're only going to talk about that from now on. <laughs> we should. We should no. <laughs> Hi, we're a, a, a faux journalism medium covering real journalism. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can talk about how we feel about it. Okay, so yes, Roe vs. Wade. Uh, I think it's a good move. What about you guys? I shut up. <laughs> <laughs> like you're Nick. <laughs> I don't know, do you want to start with it? you want to lead with that? Or should we go into something more fun? Oh, more fun than abortion? Or what do you mean? No, not more fun than Roe vs. Wade. Abortion's the most fun there ever is. Let's be real. That's why they overturned it. They don't want women having fun. I mean, that's true. You know, that's true. They don't want to have fun. Speaking of sex. fun, uh, didn't you love what Vicky got uh, written at Dick's Last Resort? Oh, yeah, we went to Dick's Last Resort. Well, I went for the first time. You two have both been before me, right? No. No? It was our first time, too. We, Everybody? Yeah. How come I'm the only one that got the virgin sticker? What the fuck? <laughs> no, we all got the virgin sticker. <laughs> Throw the virgin Throne sticker. They were just like, here, take these nerds. And we're like, okay, thank you. No, that's why we were I like, we have seen it, but we have not been there. Uh, see, I thought you guys went in Vegas. No. When Vicky, you got dicks thrown in your face, but you didn't go to Dicks to get dicks thrown in your face? <laughs> A different I kind of dicks. You don't eat. <laughs> you don't consume. No, no. You consume dicks, but you don't ingest dicks. What? That's a t-shirt right there. <laughs> <laughs> you consume dicks, but you don't <laughs> eat dicks. <laughs> I mean, don't you? Mm. No, you don't. Neither of those are factual. <laughs> like, it what? is factual. No. You consume dicks. That makes you sense. don't ingest dicks unless you. Cook them, but you will never cook dicks. Why are you cooking my dick? Are you Hannibal Lecter? Yeah, no, no, I'm saying that you are not. It's the you. whole. It's gonna be the whole scene from the movie where I look in a bucket and see my digested dick, and I'm gonna be like, yeah, and start freaking out. But <laughs> I mean, I told you, you man. Never know. I told you, motherfucker. So anyway, yeah, we went to Dicks, and uh, um, they were dick to us. <laughs> I, they were dicks to us, yeah, and I, I am told now. Anymore. Yeah, me too. Actually, I thought it was gonna be like way more mean i think that's like why i kind of didn't want to go well i think we answered really good we answered back really good to she her. walked away so way she too fast she she, that's why she couldn't like keep up with us that's true what? we uh, when she says stuff we answer back really good answers so that's why she couldn't like keep up oh like we snapped back yes uh, okay in a good way yes not like the other family that was Oh, like, man. <laughs> yeah, where the mom, like, oh, yeah, that one family was near us, like, the mom wanted to leave. <laughs> the I, dad. The dad. The dad. Was, I, like, okay, please. first of all, if you're going to Dick's and you bring your two, like, one of, one of the daughters had a beer, so for sure she was, like, 21, at least. A beer? <laughs> one of them had a beer. What? Yeah, one of the two daughters had a beer. So, no, like, one of them, they had Cokes. I saw her drink from a beer. Oh, uh, maybe it was her mom's. But whatever. Like, 
Uh, for this story, let's just say one of them had a beard. Okay, I guess. let's pretend that one. Let's pretend. But the the whole thing is that they weren't kids. They yeah. they were teenagers. Seemingly teenagers. Teen- yeah. So if you're bringing them the dicks, like of course people are gonna make like sex jokes. So if you're there and you're the dad, and then someone makes a blowjob joke about your daughter at dicks, <laughs> it's like, bro, you asked for it. You walked in there and were like, please hurt me where it where it stings really bad. I my think daughter, that family didn't know where they were. Yeah, they no, did. No, the know. mom looked happy. She, yeah, it was funny. Yeah. Mom was having a great time. But the dad, they, they made one blood job joke, and he was just like, that's my special princess you're talking about right there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's my sweet, sweet Disney sweetheart. I'm like, okay, dad, calm down. And then they also messed up his beer order, and he didn't like it. So uh, I, like, uh, I like our thingy that you were, like, I asked for an ultra, and then you asked for the another ultra. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And then the waitress was like, "Oh, you're a lesbian too." And to then, me. And then I went. I said, um, "Yes, we yes, Caesar. with Caesar. <laughs> all the time. It's they get me to Caesar all the time. With Caesar salad all the time. <laughs> Caesar, Caesar, we Caesar, Caesar, Caesar. Caesar. We are on the seesaw. One goes up, one goes down. Caesar, Caesar, say it. Say Caesar. it right. No, that's the white. Pokemon. Say that's it right. Si- that's the Pokemon that Scyther turns into. Say it white. Say Caesar. It, it white? Say it white. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Caesar. No, I'm just kidding. Scissor. 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 So, Scissor. Yeah. So Vicky basically admitted to our waitress that we're a gay couple. With and then I still beard. got, which, like, honestly, I wanted to joke him back and be like, oh, yeah, I paid a lot of money for this beard. But, like, I don't know. I was like, am I allowed to do that? I don't know. I, didn't I, I, didn't know. know. I, I didn't know the rules. Well, you I, keep asking us about the rules. And we're like, I don't know. <laughs> well, it's not that I like the rules, rules. It's like, because my thing that I didn't want to go is because I was also expecting them to, like, make service a pain in the ass, too. Um, so it was like, okay, well, if I'm going to go to eat dinner, like, I just want you to bring me my food. Like, say whatever you want. That's fine. But if I order my sandwich, are you going to bring me my sandwich or are you going to come over and like dump it on my head and be like, ha nerd, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> that happened all the time in high school. I don't need it again and I'm an adult, all right? Maybe too hardcore. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I didn't know how hardcore it was. Okay. And plus you guys told me there was one in Vegas and everything's hardcore in Vegas. You can get fucking gonorrhea by like tripping on the sidewalk That's in true. Vegas. By walking barefoot. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. <laughs> Going to McDonald's and they're just like, hey, enjoy I'm thinking your... if I walk barefoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to... Let me double check this. I don't think so. You're walking at McDonald's and you're going to be like, enjoy your McSTD. And you're like, all right, thanks. <laughs> I'm like, I don't remember. <laughs> hey, guys, this week we're bringing back the McAids. No. I'm thinking. Are you really thinking that hard about it? I mean, I I broke my sandals before the oh, that, weenie show. Oh, you have AIDS, dude. No, but. The I, weenie show? <laughs> what, what is the weenie show? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. It, was, it was like a bunch of sausages dancing. <laughs> oh, is this the is the, the Thunder Down Under thing? Obviously. So Vicky got me a pair of those. Those undies from Thundies Down Undies. And uh, they're horrible. They don't fit, right? <laughs> they are squeezing my ass and balls in places I don't no, like. My my other husband, Josh, he does wear them. He has a name now, oh, does he? he? Yeah, he wears them. <laughs> he wore them for his birthday. Oh, <laughs> oh Josh. I know what you're talking about. That's yeah. <laughs> Just, wait, only them? Like, did he wear pants too? Or? Yeah. Oh, I, <laughs> I think I, you're going to lean into it. I had a whole conversation fun. about it. Um, here, let me show you. Um, Would you scream at me? What is this? Yeah, he's my baby, so I. <laughs> he's your baby. Yeah, because I, I, what did it? Do you want to explain to the to the listeners who Josh is? My husband. <laughs> <laughs> my other husband. The other husband. Although yes. he does make some mean. Your sugar dip. Apple cider moonshine. That shit was dope. Did he make moonshine? Yeah. When we played D and D at your house, he brought over like apple spice moonshine. Uh-huh. He made it? Yeah. Oh, he cooks. So he's a good cook. Oh, so you have a type. Yes, cooks. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I don't know. cook, so you I like to eat. To me. <laughs> I don't cook, I don't clean. Let me tell you how I got this ring. I think <laughs> he was di- butt dialing, like in the morning at 12. Whole conversations? <laughs> well, with everyone. Oh, I see. <laughs> phone call. Not there. just with him, Nick. I'm sorry. Mm, sorry. You should be. <laughs> and then, um,. Uh, I was like, I need like Amazon wish lists for everyone because I want to get gifts for you guys, but I don't know what you guys really want. Like, I can get you stuff. No. And then Josh was like, I never started one, and and I was like, well, if you don't send me one, I I will probably send you some thongs. To who? To Josh. 
No. <laughs> and then Gabby was like, wait, do it. And then I was, she was like, thunder down under. Because I got him some thunder down under at least two. Nice. And he wore it yesterday for his birthday. And then I was like, my heart. So and yesterday I, was his birthday? Yes. You're like, well, you today. do love me. You wore the Thunder Down Under song I bought. And then I, I, but I will always be with you song. in your oh. birthday. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> your birthday is filled with And Gina. then I, and then Gabby was like, I want to nominate Victoria for Sugar Mama of the Year. <laughs> and then I was like, I just want to spoil, spoil you, Josh, but you don't let me. <laughs> <laughs> Is, is Josh dating somebody? No. Why not? He's such a lovable guy. He wears comfortable undies. He, I know. He's a good tall. Husband. I'm gonna bring That's him true. over here to be he, with he us. He makes a mean fucking whiskey, apparently. <laughs> like, or a uh, moonshine. Yeah, I will bring him over here. Josh, if you ever listen to this, you will be our, in our in our In our house. You're, in our you're house. welcome in our house. <laughs> In fact, if you could help pay rent, that'd be fucking fantastic. <laughs> uh, over here in Austin is a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Our rent went up, and uh, I don't know. It's not I mean, really it wasn't unique. that bad. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. It's also not a unique problem. It's like, fuck, even the homeless people's rent went up. Yes. They move up. <laughs> yeah, they moved into a richer part of town. Like, got them nicer tents. They're like, all right, now you maintain these guys, all right? You gotta you gotta do that for us. <laughs> Everywhere we you know about for reals. Did we do an episode after we moved to Austin? I don't remember. I don't know. Surprise, boys! We moved to Austin, and uh, there's a shit ton of homeless people here, and uh, most of them have better paying jobs than me. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> how? Well, the girl that I saw uh, next to the freeway, she was doing a Zoom call on the side of the freeway so <laughs> in her tent. Oh, true. That's remember that I told you. Yeah, she remember... was like in her home home office. Yeah, <laughs> good for her. Good job. Just get that paper. I remember. I think, I think it was my mom that was just like, I don't understand. You see all these homeless people walking around with phones. Don't you think they put a little more effort into getting like an apartment first and I'm like mom you can get a phone for $30 a month you can't get an apartment like, if you got, if you know where you can get an apartment for $30 a month please yeah, tell me please tell me that'd be fucking amazing <laughs> I'll be the first one there even if I it's just it. like plywood I'd be like it's got water shit let's do this <laughs> come on I can reinforce that shit myself I don't care you know how bad it is here what in Austin everything's so expensive even the creek behind us is drying up it only fills up when it rains. It fills up when, when it, it rains. Never rains. I mean, it's summer and there's no water anyway, but I mean, come on, that's crazy. It's hard to afford a house and now water might not be a thing. I mean, I know I get my water piped in from like 80 miles outside of town, but that's not the point right now, okay? <laughs> the point is, I wanted a pretty creek outside my window. Have you guys have lost electricity this year or not? We lost it for like an hour at one point and that was it. No, the, 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 the day of the storm. Yeah, that it we... went away all the day not until the morning. After all, all the night until the morning. Try one more time. What did you say? All night until the morning. Ah, uh, okay. no, you're right. <laughs> I got it. I got it right. Okay, yeah, we did all that. But that was it. Like, and it was funny because it didn't even really hit us at like a horrible time. We were going to bed anyway. At, oh. at eleven, we went to bed too early. Oh no! Because you can see, watch TV or what? I know. Yeah. That's it. yeah. <laughs> like, like, oops. Like, should we should we talk to each other or light a candle and read a book? No, shut up. Fall asleep, like, nerd. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I don't want to talk. <laughs> We're like, God damn it. We She's have to up. sleep together. We gotta, like, face ourselves. <laughs> it's like, do you want to have sex? No, not if I can't proceed it with 15 minutes of TikTok videos first. Like, come on, dude. What am I, an animal? <laughs> I, I can't turn that. on Pornhub and, and then what's the and then broadcast it to our smart TV. Then no, I don't want to have sex, dummy. That's true. That's true. <laughs> this, is, this is like hitting you really bad. You're like, it's true. We should have. They literally got sent to bed by the electricity. We did. It was horrible. Papa Trump cut our electricity and made us go to bed early. Yeah, because we... Wake up, sheeple. <laughs> it was scary. It, it was, was like Papa scary Alex. dark. It was not. It was like... It was like scary storm troop... Storm... Storm, storm troopers. Thunder. <laughs> thunder. You know, storm troopers. You know those white guys? Yeah, dark I love like those them. guys. <laughs> storm, storm. The shiniest armor ever. It, it was dark, scary. It was not. <laughs> it, it, it was. was. <laughs> it was Yeah, funny. I was telling Nick, I was like, this is like scary like we're gonna die <laughs> i was like we're in our home like just because the power went out doesn't mean but like, it was like loud it was scary because loud. it was, what was, going it was loud. loud the thunder and the lights <laughs> 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 
Like, he was like, why are you so scared? I'm like, it's fucking scary. And You're like, not listening? I know. No, I and then was. he fell asleep before me. <laughs> That's she, why it was scary. She woke me up in the middle of the night and she's like, I'm scared. And I was like, I don't care. I was like, go to sleep. <laughs> Is so- that he? Marriage. <laughs> He doesn't so, love me. There was no thunder. There was e- like, what? No. I dropped a shoe once and she was like, I hate thunder. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was scary. I don't know why you don't understand that. I don't because it wasn't scary. It was. You were already in our room. And you know what the funny thing was? She was like walking around making sure like all the doors were locked. Uh-huh. And I'm like, the power went out. The doors didn't like move. Because the doors locked with electricity? Yeah, like, exactly. This Jurassic no, World scary. or what? <laughs> She's like, what if someone breaks in with the powers out? And I'm like, I don't know. They'll trip. Like, they're not going to know what's going on. They don't know where our couch is. They like, can't see. There's no light. I was they're like, not going well, to stay home. Well, I was like, Floki's going to flick out. But he didn't freak and Floki out. was giving me a look like, why is mom freaking out? It's just thunder. <laughs> the th- Floki's our dog, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and we have a dog now. We have a dog. Uh, we He's stole from a homeless person. Yeah, we <laughs> dropped kick him and we were like, we want him. Get the dog! And he was and like, he's like, please, I can't feed him. And I was like, give us it. We can feed him. But we'll try to feed him. We will give him salmon flavored dog food. The most expensive flavor of dog food ever invented. And, and in then, some countries, the most expensive flavor of human food. Likes. Yeah. So, yeah, we got a dog. Uh, let's just uh, gear into that shit right now. How yeah. is it? Owning a dog? Um, as a guy who's never home because I'm always working, I think it's pretty easy. <laughs> Sounds like a dad to me. <laughs> so, hell yeah. I don't know if everyone's bitching. I, it, being a parent's easy. My wife just does all the work and I fall asleep. I guess, it's That's easy, disgusting. Dog. You're providing, right? Yeah, I'm providing. I'm, <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> I'm a, I colonize uh, parenting just like I colonize this job. Yes, go. America! Fuck yeah! <laughs> also, happy 4th of July, everybody. It's a week late, but it feels feels like it matches the tone of what's going on right now. Yeah, you can so Vicky, celebrate later. Exactly. Oh, yeah, that's true. Is there um, a Mexican 4th of July? Coffee. Yeah, it's called 16th of September. No, 4th but, of July. Like, what do you guys do on 4th of July? Oh, nothing. Do you celebrate that the country next to you is loud as shit for 12 hours? <laughs> No, do you, do you we fight hate somebody? you because we want Mexico back. We literally you know that Texas is Mexico, so well, why is it called Texas? Land. Yeah, because it was called Texas before. <laughs> I literally, no, it was called Texas, and we won, and we changed that J to an X. <laughs> Am I right, fellow white people? Yeah, oh, this is getting weird. America. <laughs> <laughs> America. I celebrated with was good Mexico? old COVID. <laughs> oh, yeah, he celebrated. You got COVID. Yeah. What, what was know? that like? Well, she got COVID. And oh. we called her and was like, how's COVID? And she was like, <laughs> okay. And we're like, cool. I saw fireworks on my TV. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the saddest shit ever. I didn't even go do anything. I just watched other people do stuff. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. Because it was the first year that I was going to be in El Paso for the 4th of July. And I got asked to go see fireworks and to... Different by events, a, by different a strapping, events. Strapping soldier. Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> was he a soldier? No. Oh, okay, never mind. Just some dude. Some different events, and I couldn't go to anything. So yeah. Because you had COVID. What was COVID like? Horrible. Are you sure? I know Floki's like, no, it's horrible. Zero out of ten. Do not recommend getting it. Oh, okay, I'll try. <laughs> True. Oh, wow. I forgot that mm. you had COVID. What? She. Why she not like fake COVID? What? What does that mean? Yes. It was dying. Oh, my God. Well, a year ago, I got fake COVID at work. I got fake COVID before means... coming to Austin. <laughs> no, didn't you have fake COVID? No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Literally my fake COVID, COVID is like, I literally asked for the days off because I had COVID. Oh. And hey, this is COVID coming back to bite you in the ass because yes. of that. Nice. <gasps> then I got real oh. COVID. Well, I mean, you, obviously, you two were there for this, but... um. I got, quote, I mean, I had a false positive, first of all, so I was like, I was okay. It wasn't even a big deal. <laughs> Thank you, Floki. I appreciate that. Uh, but I, I got it right after I put in my two weeks notice to my, my job at the time. Oh, dear and I was God. all, ex- I was literally so excited because <laughs> I was like, Thank you, Floki. I was like, I'm going to talk shit to somebody mm-hmm. at work. Like the first customer that comes in, and <laughs> I was like, Thank you, Floki. Uh, he comes in and he's like, Thank you, sir. Not enough- <laughs> Thank you, Floki. <laughs> he's like, There's not enough. Pepperoni on my pizza or whatever. I was just gonna be like, you know what? Fuck you! I I, I don't work here anymore. And I was just gonna snap on some dude. 
Um, no, but we actually thought we got scared because it was at the beginning, and we thought you had. It COVID. was yeah, it was close enough to the beginning that a false positive wasn't common. It wasn't funny. Yeah, it was not a big. It was, it was a big deal. So I was a little bummed out that I wasn't going to be able to blow up on somebody at work. Uh, but then now I tell that story and I'm like, I sound like such a dumbass. I really wanted to yell at a stranger. <laughs> like, I really wanted to scream at somebody. That was a highly demanded way. That's all I could have to look forward to. I mean, sure, I had a beautiful family, a new home, and bright new career in front of me. But no, I had to <laughs> yell at strangers. That's what I need. Natalia, have you ever yelled at strangers? What? Nah. Natalia is a, a good teacher. She does all the cool stuff. She she teaches the kids to have high self esteem <laughs> and to not stab homeless people. Exactly. Natalia, you want to tell us a story of how you stabbed that homeless guy? What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Make it up quick. Let's do it. Let's do improv. Hi, I'm Natalia, no way. and today I will. I can tell you about the fight, the almost fight I had with a homeless guy in New York. That that's good. I like this. I like yes. this is going. So I was taking my students. Oh, oh. <laughs> we went on a college tour to New York, uh-huh. and they got hungry. We were walking. Kids get hungry. Yeah, kids get hungry all the Little time. Little fuckers. Well, cook whatever we saw <laughs> we saw a hot dog stand as you should in New York. Yes, they're everywhere. And this kid didn't know the concept of cash. So he, mm. the the place only accepted cash, and this kid just pulls out, like, a $50 bill in the middle of New York, you know, in the street. He's just, like, <clears throat> yeah. waving it around, asking yeah. it to be, like, stolen. So naturally, this homeless dude just walks out and by, takes it, grabs it, and starts walking away. But then the inner New Yorker in me came out. <laughs> yes. The one you nurtured over a few years. Uh, for a few days. Yeah. <laughs> just the hours of being in New York came out in me. Okay. This and will not go unabated. <laughs> and I was like, I got this. I literally like walk right across my students, went up to the homeless, and then took the bill out of his hands. I was like, you don't do that. No one gave it to you. And then I came back and gave it back to the student. It was pretty cool. All my students were clapping. I looked pretty badass. <laughs> All the chairs clapped. <laughs> All the chairs. <laughs> we got hot dogs. We, and he was like, hot dogs on everybody on this 50 that, that Miss Natalia brought back. That's great. I just imagine the people on the street, just they just saw this oh. tiny little person like stealing oh. from a homeless man. Probably that's what they were thinking. But yeah, they were like, well, look at that woman. I don't know. That I feel like, if, woman just I feel like, like if, if they're not her. seeing the homeless man take stuff out of a no. teenager's hand, uh-huh. they're probably not seeing what they would assume is a teenager. Stealing from a homeless man's hand, you know what I mean? <laughs> shh. Uh, shh. I do not look like a teenage. What? Are you serious? <laughs> what? I'm super tall. I'm like 6'5". People... That's Yard, true. What? 6'5"? Six 6'5", five? Six five, uh, pure muscle. Yeah, I play basketball. Shaped like a human armadillo. Armadillo. <laughs> 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 I imagine Natalia as an armadillo. I <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> Just picture that. We have that running joke in our house. This is this is such family friendly nonsense right here. But like we have that running joke that Luna's a rat. Yes. Vicky is a raccoon because she always forgets to take off her mascara before she gets in the shower. <laughs> uh, and I am a possum because I, I scream and lie all the time. But you like trash. And I like trash. <laughs> you like trash. So Natalia is the armadillo. She has an indestructible back and she's six foot five. Mm-hmm. There you go. Powerful. We need to come I up with another marsupial. Like trash. What kind of trash do I like? Trash Everything. TV, <laughs> trash TV, trash, trash relationships, music, trash clothes, trash. Trash music. What's wrong with my music? That's the only one I actually suddenly got mad about. That. I was like, "What's wrong with my music?" You know, I like sabotage. You know what's wrong with you, baby? I don't. What's wrong with my music? Did you listen to like weird songs with weird? Okay, words hold on. That don't make hold on. sense. I didn't come in here to be attacked like this. Okay? <laughs> and then like, like, <laughs> like anime covers. Like a loser. Oh hey, hey. Did, I've showed <laughs> you some, <laughs> and you were like, "This slaps." What? AMV videos or what were they called? Not anymore. AMV? The anime music yeah. videos? Yeah. Where they just make it, they get a song and they edit the anime clips over it? You probably watched that in high school. Right I, I watched a few and I remember like most of them. I was like, these aren't even good. Oh, okay. Like I really didn't like them. And only because like, I think I saw like three where I was like, this is really well edited. The rest, it was just like <laughs> the fight from the show, like unedited. And then just like Linkin Park's numb over it. <laughs> and then you're like, was what is thing. this? <laughs> like, you never watched them? No. What? Anime? What? A- AMVs. It's called an anime, anime music video. Movies. But it was like a huge genre. Like, 
the early I'm days sure of YouTube. Yeah. Well, it still is, but they, they get like way better now. Like it's not something I look for, but every now and then I see them. And I'm like, where was this? Like 12 years ago. This is like entertaining to watch a little Hold bit. On, let me find this. Just yeah. look it up. Yeah. And then turn this on. So you don't like blast it and oh, kill me. Wait, this is a place. No, no, it's just go, go to YouTube. No, go to YouTube and type in AMV. <laughs> go to YouTube and type in Naruto Linkin Park AMV. Yes. And there's going to be a million. Okay, what is like 2000? Uh, Naruto AMV Linkin Park. A N. A M. Anime Music M- Video. A N. M. Like mother. Because it's anime A- music video. A M V. Anime. You're right. You live with me. You don't know what this is? I know. I what is this? Know. Like, oh, wait. Is it like they put like a song and then they put like... And a, they only use footage from the anime to make oh, a video. Oh, I didn't like that. It was so disgusting. Ah, so you tried to accuse me and then over I here your sister's like... I did not like it. Like, I like, also oh, agree like that it was nerd. crappy editing. She <laughs> yeah, like a nerd. She's like, hold on, hold on. Like you this. gave it a real review. <laughs> no, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Uh, like, only nerds like that shit. And then I see some on TikTok every They're now and like, then. I'm like, look at all this I effort. Can't with touch. I can't. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, that one. Running through the. I always just picture that, but he used to have like lipstick, and then it would be the perfect like. Oh AMV. that's it. Lord. There was one. Do, uh, do you remember this old series called AMV Hell? No. Okay. If anyone hears this, please, ah! like, I want you. I found one that is like sexual. They're all sexual. Really? Even Naruto <laughs> fighting <laughs> Sasuke. There's like hey, butts, but off, uh, off. My yeah, my dog oh. just leaned up and just decided oh. to try to eat his aunt's hand. And then say that again. Wolf. What is that? Wolf. Wolf. He's, he's German. <laughs> that was more Mexican, but all right. I'm I'm I... Oh, all right. <laughs> Whoa, I'm I was... gonna get banned. <laughs> hey, if you got any complaints to make, please uh, do it at one eight hundred HeilHitler dot net, and we're there. <laughs> Uh, but no, so AMV Hell was a series, it was really popular for a while, uh, and I think, I think it was just one guy that did it, I'm not really sure, but he just made a bunch of them, but the funny thing is that he, it wasn't just music, it was like, clips, it was almost like TikTok, where it was like clips of sound that were like famous, Mm -hmm. so like clips from like Full Metal Jacket, or just famous movie scenes, or whatever, and he would use the sound, and he would edit random shit from like, anime from them, Yeah. but he would edit it really well. So it actually looked like they were like saying it, like the lip oh. flap. He fuck with the lip flaps. So and he all like stuff. elevated the industry. Yes, but it's, I don't know if it's. I don't know if he did that much of a job, honestly, because <laughs> it was just like a niche audience, you know. But um, a lot of people really liked it, and there was like, if I remember, it was like AMV one two three, or AMV Hell one two three, and there was like zero that was like a five minute one or whatever. Uh, but the, the, I think AMV, dude AMV three was like the one that everyone watched because. The weird thing is that I really know, don't know what the fuck are you guys talking about. <laughs> like, like the an- the anime music videos? I never well, the saw, I mean, I know what it is, but yeah. I'm like... Just imagine three minutes of any anime. Like, Why like didn't you fight. guys watch like a normal... Music because music? animes because didn't YouTube have like cool new. intros before. I don't That's know. true. Oh my god, that is so true. Yeah. Like very few did. Like I know there were some Gundam series that like the intro was awesome. Saint Seiya had a great one. There were, like, a few, but... But not, like, they have different songs. They show you different scenes with every season. Yeah. I think, like, Before, Inuy- it was just, like, the same Inuy- intro over and over and over again. I think Bleach... Actually, funny enough, uh, One Piece was one of my favorite animes. I don't think it had a good opening for a while. Mm-hmm. Like, they all sucked. But Bleach and even Naruto had some really good ones when they were going on. But, like, that was at the time now, like, if you listen to anime intros, everyone thought you were weird. But now, like, fucking One Punch Man has one of the dopest intros ever. It sounds great. Like and Jojo- Attack on Titan? That Attack on amazing. Titan. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Uh, My Hero Academia every now and then. <laughs> like, yeah. every every third intro from them is great. And then the rest are, like, garbage. That's some, like, gay twink pop band that's just like, I'm gonna sing about dreams. And the other ones are just like, I'm gonna fucking punch that villain in the face. And you're like, yeah! So before we had that, Victoria... You had to create your own intros. <laughs> Usually, to with, music that you actually liked. Yeah, and you it was mostly it was Linkin Park, and in my case, it was a bunch of dad bands that my dad always played in the car. So a lot of Nickelback was getting getting played in my room. Well, at least my dad liked Metallica, so it was really good. Metallica, Master of Puppets. Yeah. Everybody made an AMV to Master of uh-huh. Puppets. Some of them only made AMVs to the fucking uh, the guitar solo in the middle of the song. <laughs> 
It's, that's it. And it's like you can't do, do the whole song. It's like you should like look for them on YouTube. I look for like 2007, 2009. Yeah, oh, or or sort by earliest yeah. or whatever, and you'll see like the ones from 2006. That it's like so you can see what we're talking about, dude. Naruto versus Sasuke when that first came out. Um, what was it? Like, did you guys? You didn't watch Naruto, did you? No. So there's a thing. It's called the retrieval arc where Sasuke tries to leave the village, and then Naruto goes after him. And the whole thing culminates in a big fight between both of them getting this huge power up, which at the time was like, oh, it's a big deal. Uh-huh. And they fight. And it was like the coolest fight in the series at the time. <laughs> oh, God. Everybody made AMVs with that shit. From, with every, uh, like, what's that one song from Three Days Great? Uh, I Hate Everything About You. <laughs> That's a Sonic song. one. Sonic? Oh, dude. Sonic is like classic AMV shit. What is this? It's AMV? Oh, yeah, don't play that. We're going to get fucking demonetized. No, stop. Hey, oh, no. stop it. We oh, no. Money. Mama, I get $3 every 4,000 listens on this Made shit. Made out of the Sonic, Sonic. <laughs> Gangster's Paradise. Oh, <laughs> uh, they also use on that one all the time. Gangster's Paradise. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, there's the Naruto oh, one. <laughs> and it's always Shadow. Did you, oh, my God. Have oh, you guys yeah. seen? I, this is going to be pretty old news to a lot of people. Did you so, guys... oh, wait, wait. So, that's how nerds find normal songs? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I <bet. laughs> yeah, I bet they I, do. I love how Vicky, like, disparages nerds like she's not she one of the not. biggest <laughs> fucking nerd. But now, but she wasn't a nerd in high school. She was one of those kids that bullied people. I like, have two it? shelves. I wasn't, a... really? Yes, I wasn't? You were... Yes, you were. You weren't a nerd. I've seen no. video. Were you a nerd? I mean, I was a different kind of nerd. But I you like weren't a nerd. Comics. No, you were like yeah, a Yeah, well, dark to be, to be fair, I have two... No, you were nothing. I have... A, she was nothing. Okay, I have a display case and Not two racks <laughs> are completely taken up of Spider-Man and Star Wars shit. None of which I owned before Vicky moved in. Yeah. And then now my walls, I have one Dark Souls poster... I have a Batman poster. Neither of us like Batman. And I don't know why you brought here. that fucking because Batman it's poster. Because cool. I see brought Batman. No, that's like the gayest Batman. <laughs> that's cool. Zebra. There's a rainbow Batman that it's sucks dicks every page. It's and you, zebra. It's right over there. It's Batman it's with a zebra Batman. pattern. It, I, I, I'm almost afraid to read it because I wonder if that happens. It's just going to be like he had to make a costume because all his other costumes were destroyed. And all he had was zebra pattern material. Well, like, it's a pretty that, cool poster what does he do does he do anything cool i said poster no but in the sh- story he's just another one so no he sucks <laughs> batman sucks batman once sucks. again batman sucks every dick available i mean we know that's true that's true ben i feel like i'm not shitting on you but batman sucks many days we're not talking about batman we're just talking about how nerds Found real music with A and B music videos. What did Nickelback do? Why did we all hate Nickelback? What happened there? I like Nickelback. Oh, no, that's not true. I like like do five you? songs. I like like five songs. That's a Nickelback song. Photograph. That's the one everyone quotes. Look at this photograph. Why the fuck is Batman have a zebra I like costume? The what? The is Shrek? it the Shrek? Yeah. That's Smash Mouth. I don't know. Some. Here. Bye, you want to tell me. Hold up. Well, besides Photograph, what's another song from Nickelback? Uh, Side of a Bullet. It's a song they wrote about Sing when... Uh, Sing it. I don't know. Side of a Bullet. No, that's actually how that part goes, but I don't know everything else. Um, no, no. I think I only know the photographs one. Probably. Uh, this is how you remind me. The guy's like, this is how oh, you that's remind from that? me. Yeah. Oh. There's that guy. Um, they have another one called Too Late, where he's talking about like his dad left his mom. And it was like too late to save their Maybe. relationship as yeah. father and son. No, it was like him and his dad's relationship oh. with him. Um, Di- uh, Side of a Bullet, where they wrote it about Dimebag Daryl getting shot from Pantera. Mm-hmm. Uh, because when they got the shooter, he had a revolver with a bunch of bullets in it. A revolver? I don't remember. But he had a bunch of bullets in it that each had a band member's name scratched in the side of the casing. Oh, shit. Yeah, so it's like, oh, shit. That's crazy. Uh, and then Nickelback also has a song about how good wieners taste, but I don't, I don't know if that has anything to do with this. Can you sing it? Yeah. Wieners! <laughs> no, I don't know. I made that up, dude. I'm kidding. Sing it. No, what? Just make up a song about wieners? I mean, you can. Okay, go. I like sweet relish and mustard. Ketchup, too. No, no, like 
Put all that shit on my hot dog, dude. No, no, no. Nah, 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 okay. nah, what about real winners? I, I did a really good job with that. You just yeah, that was pretty good. good. Yeah, I know. You do that? It, I'm not hungry. I took Steve Martin's <laughs> master class. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hungry there for a hot dog joke. Go over my head. Wow. <laughs> this shit doesn't work. <laughs> sure to make a good... Shitty Steve Martin masterclass joke, and Vicky beat it with "I'm not hungry." <laughs> <laughs> it's worked out so much better. Come on. Nah. What? Um, what? A song about other winners. I just did. You were other no, winners. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I like real ears. Must do. Put some ketchup on your penis, dude. I don't know. That's all I got. Nobody puts good stuff. You don't know. Did you ever see um, Harold and Kumar? Well, Where that white weird. chick was like, let me put some hot sauce on your penis. And he was like, you got it, lady. And they did. Yeah, did you not see the movie? But ketchup is different. It's like sweet. I don't, that's... Well, you put ketchup everywhere, too. You like ketchup with egg. No. You did. Ah, pass. That was pass. Who puts ketchup on pizza? pizza? There's some people that put ketchup on pizza. There's fucking animals. There's, it's already got tomato <laughs> sauce. What the fuck else are you adding? Mexican. You put Valentina. But Valentina's... She made the ancho or something, right? What is it? She yeah. didn't know. She's not Valentina. I don't even know what kind of... Actually, hold on. This, I have a bottle of Valentina right here. Let's read the, uh, the ingredients. Uh, red, hellfire, and salt. That's all that's in there. Red? Red, hellfire, and salt. That's all that's in there. Hellfire? Yeah, Bernie. Bernie nonsense. Bernie really? Sense. No, of course not. Ah, well, I thought it was like really Did hellfire. you put hellfire in there? I know. It's I was authentic. Like, oh. It's a good like, satanic wow, dish. <laughs> Oh, is Arbor de Chile? Yes. I didn't know that. What? It's Chile. Chile de Arbor, no? Chile. We're all yeah, just... Yeah, but I'm drinking... I'm actually... breathing dried Arbor Chile. Acetic you know, acid. Iodizer. Seasoning. Spices. And point four cent sodium benzoate. As a point of that. You know, I always wanted to have a podcast <laughs> where we talked about stuff that was like kind of important in today's world. And here we are just learning how to make Valentina. See, very important. You know what? True. <laughs> have you have you been home without Valentina? Yes. In no. fact, Horrible. we have. Let's see. What is this? Uh, this bottle is. Yeah, this is like a liter bottle, and we've had it for about a week. It's under halfway, Whoa. and I'll be honest, Vicky. We they had huge bottles there, and I was like, "Let's get those." And she's like, "We're never gonna use it." And I was like, "No, no, no." Remember what I said. I don't want the big bottle because I cannot carry it on top of my phone. You have one so you can fill out your small bottle. Uh, I don't do that. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I like to carry... I want something that is on the size of my hand. Like a litter bottle? Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly the same. Welcome to the Notorious <laughs> Podcast, ladies and gentlemen, where we discuss whether or not hot sauces are worth it. No. And you know what this one is? <laughs> Like Valentina. I want stuff the size of my hand. One liter <laughs> bottles, Nick. Is your weenie the size of <laughs> one liter bottles? Honestly, if it was, would it even be enjoyable? Like, <laughs> Say, it's too no, much you information. You don't have too much information. You don't. You have to lie, baby. Yes, it, it's, it, my, I got a, I got a two liter penis over here. I can't go. I get the feeling that like if I had a two liter penis when I had sex, the, you would just you would inflate like one of those like car sales lots balloons that's just like shrunk right. And your hands what? move the same way. Just <laughs> Turn it away. <laughs> two liter, Turn it I, that would be disgusting. Are you telling me a one liter would be acceptable? That you could totally fit a one liter? Don't look at the Valentina <laughs> bottle like you're, like you're going to try. Hey, hold on. Give me a sec. Someone, <laughs> someone spit on it. I'm thinking about my... I'm thinking mentally. Would I be able? Yeah. It's the size of my hand. In Have a fist. Done your hand? <laughs> in my fist. That, okay, hey guys, we're gonna take a quick break. I'm scared. Uh, I can fist me, maybe. <laughs> 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 okay, I wasn't expecting that. That was good. Good job. That's pretty funny. Don't fist yourself, please. <laughs> Are you tired of having a rank ass hog? Of course you are. Are you thinking, well, my hog doesn't stink? Shut up, nerd. Yes, it does. And that's why it's called a hog. But don't worry, we've got just the thing for your filthy, sinful hog stink. New Hogwash brand Hogwash. Get that gross smell off your junk and replace it with a better manly smell, like lighter fluid. Careful letting sparks fly in the bedroom with this one. 
coffee beans. No, I didn't spill any coffee. That's just how my nuts smell. Cigarette, just like stepdad used to smoke. <laughs> and ghost pepper. Spice me up, daddy. Order now and we'll include a travel-sized bottle of pube conditioner for keeping those bad boys nice and soft and out from between your lady's teeth. Unless you're into that, I don't judge. <laughs> Hogwash, wash your hog. So, in conclusion, we've decided. <laughs> Hold on, let me take out the Valentina and I might push you all. <laughs> there you go. That's it. So, we've decided uh, women don't deserve rights. Thank you, uh, Governor Abbott. Uh, we love Texas. Oh, ba da ba ba da, Texas. All right. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, you, uh, I feel like I can't have my guns inside my pussy. <laughs> That's true. That's true. You could have more guns in your pussy than unwanted children. So I mean, if it's up to leader, can that fit on the flag? Can that be the new Texas flag? Can we do that? You think instead of "Don't tread on me," it'll just be like <laughs> "Don't shoot at me." <laughs> don't don't shoot my baby. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> don't don't skeet bullets onto my skeet child. I don't. Know. That didn't work out. I'm sorry. Don't look, give me that fucking ugly look. No, I'm just thinking like what. Like a ski child. No. Uh, speaking of that noise, uh, we had yesterday, we had like 60 people show up before opening at my job and also reserve a table uh, because they were doing a yoga class. Um, yeah. So they showed up and they were just like, hey, we really need this brewery to be open so we can uh, keep doing yoga. And we were like, can you do it at your house? And they're like, mm, no, we need beer nearby. We don't have to drink it, but it just needs to be, like, in the vicinity. <laughs> and they just fucking did downward dog for, like, three hours until we opened. And they were just like, cool, give us a bunch of beer and hot dogs. That's the kind of place Austin is. I mean, I would do yoga if there was beer next to it. Doesn't that defeat the purpose? That's what I said. That I would also do, like, a ton of yoga just for beer. <laughs> what? Did that you is not really <laughs> exercise. <laughs> no. Oh, let's talk about this. So, <laughs> so Vicky fucking made me download the goddamn... Um, What's it, the the Google app that's like the pedometer and the hell that what is it called Fit Google Fit or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, and then she's like you really need it and I was like why and she's like it'll help you lose weight and I'm like will it or will it just tell me that I'm fat like because that's different, <laughs> uh, but she's like you need the pedometer to know how many steps you're gonna take and my take on it I thought it was mm-hmm. that walking is the the diet coke of exercise. Okay. So Listen. if all you, if all you're doing all day is tracking how many steps you got, does that do anything? Depends on how many steps. Are you doing like 10,000 10 steps? If you, if, no, if your whole thing is like 10,000 steps a day. If that is all you did is is do 10,000 steps a day so that Google Fit is like, wow, good job. Are you going to lose weight? If you eat at a normal calorie uh, caloric intake, which I think is 2,000 to- uh, calories. I think 10,000 is just to maintain yourself, huh? So you're not going to make progress. No. You maintain. You stay the same. Okay. You're not getting worse. Okay. <laughs> so why, why am I on the set? It's because we were saying that we we are like, how many steps do you think you do a day? And I was like, 8 billion steps a day. And I was like, you don't. I didn't believe her. I still say 8 billion. Most people do like 2,000. I do like 8 billion. No, Nick does, um, let's see, Sundays, he does nothing. What? Well, yeah, because I'm home. My day off. <laughs> he does nothing. Don't give me, don't give me shit. Like, Sundays, nothing, Monday, nothing, Tuesday, nothing. It's my day off. Okay, in promedio, he does like probably eight like billion 5, steps. Cool. Last week he made a uh, an average of six thousand. Okay. Okay. And today he did almost twelve thousand. Which is good because we were out traveling. Mm-hmm. And party out with your feet. Dun, 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 yeah. dun, dun, dun. So the real question is, if you're doing that, like, what's the thing that you're doing besides that? I guess to warrant like like to to make progress. Do you have a thing that you do to make progress, Natalia? I did, but then I got sick for a month. What was your thing? CrossFit. Oh, oh that's right. You told you to do CrossFit. <laughs> that's, okay, fair enough. That's a good thing. I Vicky, a... what is your thing? What is your thing you do besides walking to lose weight? Uh, I do exercise with um, walking exercise. No, besides, besides walking. I mean, She's like, I, I walk, but I then I walk exercise, with a headband on. What is it? Walking, you walk more. So you go beyond the thing. You go beyond plus ultra. Yeah, yeah. Like, you exercise, but you exercise with walking. Well, I am so... What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, you walk. 
You go for you walk into normal. Your walking. <laughs> you look you deep inside yourself. She does shrooms. That's what she's saying. <laughs> <laughs> you walk. You walk. No, like normal people walk. Okay. Uh-huh. Like forward. Walk. Uh-huh. You mean power walking? Is that right? No, no, no. Everybody walk. Right. Okay. You walk. Okay. Normal. Okay. Back and forth. How many times are you gonna say this? A lot. <laughs> and then what do I do? You go backwards. I have <laughs> exercises that you do with walking on step on place. Sorry. Okay. okay. So uh, what are those while exercises? While you're walking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are these exercises? Everything. Check Twitter. Like this. Stare at the ground. Mm. 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 And then you move your hand, and then you're like. Like I, I'm not going to explain what's going on. I want all the <laughs> listeners to try to visualize what you think Vicky's doing right now. But you do that. Half of you are dead right. The other mm-hmm. half are wrong. Yes. But you do those exercises while you are like in one place walking. Okay. But you are making more steps than you usually make more steps. Right. While you walk your daily pace. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's so confusing. I know, I'm lo- I'm, I still really don't like, understand. I get it. I, I have get visual it. representations okay. of this. I'm still so lost. So I do exercises. Okay. But the majority, <laughs> you walk. Okay. In place. Okay. But what but else you do you do besides exercise. walking? Exercise! But list the exercises. I mean, I don't know the names. You do arms. Push up. Arms. Arms. Down. Jumping jacks? No, no, no. You do like um, arms. You do ups. Walking apps. I'm gonna admit most of this sounds made up. No, 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 no. <laughs> you do stuff. It's because I don't know how to explain it, but you just do this stuff. But while walking. Well, if I may, the app helps because. <laughs> <laughs> the do stuff, you... lose weight. Got it. Yes, but also side note. Last month when I went to the ER. The only, oh. the only reason why I noticed that I needed to go to the ER was because my heart rate was going up and down really crazy on my on my smartwatch. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, that's, <laughs> that sounds more like a life alert than, a, than a workout. <laughs> and that's what I thought. And like uh, the grandmas. <laughs> yeah, like the grandma, like Natalia fell, she couldn't get up. <laughs> like, She's I like, I knew I had to go to the ER because <laughs> I, mean, I, couldn't, I couldn't see my, anymore. My alarm sounded. <laughs> the alarm that was like, stop dying. My watch was like, what the fuck is going on with you? <laughs> My alarm was So like, I used my stop. deductive reasoning <laughs> and realized I had to go to the <laughs> ER. I felt a chest pain. <laughs> <laughs> but that, that was important. not important. Because if but yeah, keep the app. It works. Keep, okay, well, today it told me I met both of my goals and I was like, I didn't know I had two. I don't know what that means. Yeah, and it was like... I put those goals. Yeah, but it was like... You got, <laughs> did you? No. Uh, I think you turned the app on. I don't know. I guess you might have. Well, where but, were the goals? Uh, 10,000 steps and getting your heart rate uh, up to 60. Oh. So it was like, I did both of those. And I was Where like, is it at? <laughs> I know. That's what I, was, I thought 60 was like the base. I was like, one a second, right? Yeah. So I, I don't know. I guess I hover somewhere between one and two. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Technically, you're dead. Shit. <laughs> yeah. Because that's one of the things that I was like, I don't know why. Uh, I think we put it on your phone because I was like, I think I make more stuff than you in a day. Yeah. And I was like, and absolutely not. Like, I'm at work all day. But we make roughly the same amount. Mm-hmm. You should make like a competition. Nah, I'd win. Because I'm a man. I still have all my rights. Hey, Roe versus Wade got overturned, guys. I don't know if you uh, if you heard about this. Nick, Nick is going to die in his sleep. I'm going to wake up. He's going to be hovering above me. Saying, Who's got rights now, motherfucker? Nah, dude. You don't, you don't have the right to life. Ah, Welcome but... to Texas. You're, you're a woman now. I'm going to my whole life. Welcome to Texas. Yeah, woman. I'm just I'm, I'm tied to the bed. I look down, just wearing lingerie. You're the woman now. <laughs> like my, my underwear stuffed in my mouth. Eat it, eat it, bitch. <laughs> I mean, so my my thing that I do besides walking mm-hmm. to lose weight mm-hmm. is that I fuck. Oh, really? You? <laughs> <laughs> so confused. I just, I just look in the mirror and I, I hip thrust. <laughs> I look in my eyes and I'm just like, you are the alpha male. Oh no, I got my phone. Imagine. Uh, I don't know if I can picture that. <laughs> okay, now real question. Let's let's make this a question. What if you? Okay, Vicky, for this scenario, you're single. Okay. You're single. I'm always let's, single. Don't worry. Okay, calm down. <laughs> let's say uh, I died in a horrific plane crash where the plane didn't even start and I just got shot in the head by okay. some guy walking by. Oh, okay. So I'm dead. Uh, okay. Natalia. <laughs> Natalia. I like that. 
uh, uh-huh. I'm dead. Uh-huh. And you're taking Vicky out for a night of like, hey, you got to get back on the horse. You got to yeah. go do some stuff. Like, let's, let's load Normal. it up. Yeah, it's, it's, it's loaded up. Let's go yeah. crazy. Um, and you go out and you're flirting all night. And then some dude comes up to you and he looks just like me. Okay. Like, like literally exactly, exactly like me. Like me. And I'm he, scared. And I'm co- scared. I'm like, oh my God. No, That's Nick. Nick. And then I, and he comes up and he whispers in your ear, I faked my death. No one knows. Oh, and shit. then he disappears. What do you do? Also, before you answer what? that, can you tell me where this scenario started? Because I kind of forgot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say, where are we going with it? I, I, I don't know. I dropped my phone and no, I just no. lost all my focus. Wait, wait. We were talking about, like, the app. What app? But, uh, no, Google. Like No, no. You said, I have a question for you. Yeah, you just said it. Uh-huh. Out of random. What was the point? No, it was important. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. So, say you started dating a guy. Dude's, dude's great. Like, it, everything is going great. You've been on a couple dates. You've already hooked up. You stay over at his place. You wake up one day. You don't see him in bed. And you're like, oh, he must be in the kitchen. He's probably making coffee or something. Mm-hmm. And you go to the bathroom, and you notice there's a crack in the bathroom door. Okay. And you look in, and you see him just looking in the mirror, naked. And he's just making eye contact with himself in the mirror. Uh-huh. And he's just hip thrusting. He's just like, pre- and he's in his head. He's like, one, two, three, Wait. four. One, two, three, <laughs> We four, already had sex? One. Yeah, you already had sex. But then you realize the reason he got good is because he's just looking in the mirror, staring at himself, going, one, two, three, four. And he's keeping time. Is that cool? Is that good? I will be confused. Why? But also, was he doing this when we had sex? Yeah, you think back to it. He was on top of you, and he was like, one, two, three, four. <laughs> well, <laughs> one, I two. do that sometimes. What? <laughs> See, hold on. Do you think of a rhythm in your head, or do you count like a musician? I don't know. You're very too hectic. You should know that. No, that I she don't counts in, in her head. I don't in my mind. I'm not counting out loud. What she's the hell? Looking that, me yeah. in my eyes on our wedding night, and she's five, just like one, four. two, three, four, <laughs> five. What are you counting down? Five, four. Fuck it. Atomic bomb goes off. For me, sometimes it's a rhythm. It's like, eh, eh, eh. or like, <laughs> um. Sometimes I'm thinking how much I can last. Like in this position. <laughs> How long until my shoulder blades get sore? <laughs> How long until this hurts? Let me bend my knees. My okay, knees let's. Okay, in this scenario, uh, pain is not a thing. You're a young, spry, twenty-two year old. All your bones work normally. Okay, okay, okay. You hook up on. with the dude after a bar, uh, and uh, you, you just wake up the next morning and you catch him practicing in the mirror, just looking and at himself. Kind. And he's just, trusting? but he's. He's thrusting. In the he's looking, he's looking in at the himself. mirror. He's got his hands on his hips and he's just hip thrusting into his own reflection, going one, I think two, weird. three, four. But you, you wouldn't think you don't think like, hey, it's a good thing he's doing that because it paid off. Like, what if you had really good sex? Well, yeah, then I will be like, then he exercised his sex thingy. Now, what if you had really bad sex? Then I will be like, that's why he's practicing. <laughs> because you know he was really mad you know what that, what a nice way either way for you to say that we're like it's a good thing he did it versus you know what I I support his endeavors to make his, his <laughs> whatever runs your boat yeah, riding but his boat as being a metro but I mean I don't think it will be weird because sometimes I do weird stuff in the restaurant so so what she said is go ahead Nick you can go ahead and do <laughs> your <I>, hypnotrist <laughs> this isn't me this isn't about me just write something in notebook quickly <laughs> I mean, <laughs> tomorrow in the morning. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Yeah, I do that. You, what do you do? What do women do? What do you, what do you what? guys do to get ready for sex? To know our secrets, Nick. That's a good point. Vicky, wife that I purchased with a bale of hay and three goats or whatever I said. What do you do? I usually, I like to comb my hair. <laughs> so I comb my hair. I, I put on a blindfold. No, but my, my pussy hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I Sometimes I put the other end inside my lips. <laughs> You're making all of this sound like to crazy. Fresh, to freshen up when you I, go I put, down there so you can... Oh, like, those lips. I thought you made your mouth. <laughs> I was like, are you just rubbing Old Spice on your teeth? Like, what is this? And I'm like, oh, those lips. Oh, okay, okay. I'm putting okay. Old Spice on my clit. On so it's clit? fresh. And... It tastes like Captain... And like a man, so you believe you, so you can think that I'm with other men, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, uh, that's the episode of this podcast. Uh, Natalia, quick, which number of podcast is this? Don't worry, it doesn't matter. Rovers and Wings still get overturned. No. All right, guys, that's a one.
This is what, yeah, episode one. Fuck it. Uh, when in season two. <laughs> season three. It was shit. Season two had one episode. Maybe two years. <laughs> season three after the, the bring back. It was a pandemic. It's fine. There was a whole pandemic. We, we were started sad. during the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, we were sad. Hey guys, depressed. COVID numbers went down. We couldn't possibly keep it up. We Another all had up. We got it. Then. Yeah, that's a good point. We had to go back to work. We couldn't do it, but now we got to. All right. Thank now you guys so much for listening. Uh, I have a bottle of tahini next to me. That's not important. I'm just very excited about that. Uh, thank you for listening to America's Favorite Sound, and I, I guess we're out. Natalia, say goodbye. Bye. Vicky, say goodbye. Bye. Vicky, uh, Floki, say goodbye. He's asleep. Oh, fuck. All right. <laughs> Good night. Bye.